Now let us see the architecture of the final operation in CRUD which is the read operation. So a client sends a read request or say a search request to a coordinating node in our Elasticsearch cluster. So this coordinating node will pass this request to various shards or we can say all the shards in the Elasticsearch cluster. It will tell them that we have a read request or a search request and the search query is so and so. Now since each shard is a self-contained Lucene index in itself, and each chart has the inverted index as well as the search capabilities in the inverted index. Each chart will search for the search query and it will get a set of results sorted by the relevant score. So for all of the documents that matched uh, the search query, the, the, the shards will then return that set along with their relevance score to the coordinating node. What happens here is that uh, although there might be many documents which are matching with our search query, but by default each shard will only return say the top 10 results. So that is the default which is set in Elasticsearch. But if we want uh, more results, then we can um, Set, it up, set up the variables in the Elasticsearch cluster and will, it will start returning us more results. But by default, it only returns the top 10 results. So although all of these results, all of these shards, they return their top 10 results to the coordinating node. Now it is the responsibility of the coordinating node to sort all of these uh, uh, document IDs uh, according to their relevance score and create the list of, of the top 10 uh, most relevant search results. Top 10 again because the default is top 10 and if we want to change it, we can definitely change it. Then what happens is that the coordinating node requests these original documents from the shards in which they are available. All the shards then enrich the documents or uh, we can say they, they get all the content of the document and return it to the coordinating node. So when the, the coordinating node has all the results, the top 10 most relevant results across all the shards, then the results are aggregated in a single list and sent back to the client. And this is essentially how a client's read request or search request are served. The same can be seen by means of a diagram right here. So let us quickly go through the diagram. Here we can see that we are receiving a search request in the coordinating node and the coordinating node is sending these requests to all of the shards. Now what is happening here is that each shard is performing its search locally and then it is putting all the results in a priority queue and then it is sending back all the results to the coordinating node. The size of the result priority queue will be set by default. There is a property in Elasticsearch which can be set and while making a search query also you may tell Elasticsearch that you know this is the size of results that I'm expecting. So if those many results are there it will uh, return you the upper cap of those results. If those many results are not there it will return you as many results as are applicable. So when all of the shards return their result to the coordinating node it, it, it creates a priority queue to go globally sort those results returned by the shard and for them then for the top 10, it asks all the shards to give it the documents. The, each of the shards then will fetch the certain documents uh, according to document ID which the coordinating node has asked for and it will return those documents to the coordinating node. And the coordinating node will subsequently return those documents to the client. And this is how the read function works in an Elasticsearch cluster. That is all for this time. If you like the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content of my channel, please subscribe. And if you want notifications for the same, please hit the bell icon. Thank you all for watching.